Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is it is it that Taylor Swift walks away with eight awards from Billboard Music Awards, or is it because oh wait, lo and behold, some people are getting audited by the IRS. It just happens to coincide with oh wait a minute. Maybe we shouldn't tell you about that. Oh, anyway, don't make the president angry because you might get audited. Does that sound really bad? Well, some people are thinking that's the cause. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you believe the polls, that 53% of the people uh, believe the Republicans are behind all of these scandals, 53% of the people support the president, 53% of the people think that uh, the press is out to get the president, and 53% of the so-called people that voted, voted for the president. Isn't that a coincidence, like where folks? where does all, all these numbers come from? Yeah, no, they, they, the Democrats took polling, mm. and their polling coincides with the exact total of people that voted for the president in the election. Meaning they said, if you supported the president, you support anything that he tells you. I, I'm willing to wait, I'm wanting to wait to when the president of the United States walks into a bank, robs the bank, and 53% of the people automatically say that was the greatest bank robbery we ever saw and only Barack Obama could have done it. And the Republicans are trying to smear him saying it was a... He was doing it for the good of the people. It was a... It was he one was of those things. He was testing security. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that is why we need bigger government is the White House response to all the scandals. That's the response. They need more money to build a bigger government. They said Repub George Bush and the Republicans were responsible for the problems with the IRS and the problems with the Justice Department and the problems with Benghazi. said they cut the money for security counselors, which they didn't do because that's in the next budget, not in the one that they had. Uh, they're responsible for the Justice Department problems, which is in the next budget, not the budget they have. And they're responsible for the IRS problem. Uh, no, the Republicans didn't have that. Republicans weren't using the IRS to audit their enemies. Only Barack Obama is, folks. Mm. Sunny skies ahead at the Cannes Film Festival, despite yes, days of well, days of torrential downpour and the second robbery. Well, there was no second robbery because it wasn't the first robbery, so there can't be a second robbery. Mm. And there was no shooting whatsoever. And I thought the long-range forecast was. Uh, was overcast with spotted showers until the end of the festival. Ah. They said the, the main news of the Cannes... Oh, maybe that's changing too. Cannes Film Festival main news is uh, to, the, the torrential downpours, which has basically put a, a damper on all the outside parties, oh, the press calls yes. and everything. So because they're not really designed to be done inside at Cannes. No, it isn't. In fact, some of them, they're trying to make accommodations for it. Yeah. Well, some of but the people... part of it is, most of it is out you know and even if you're out and you're tented the rain still comes in from multiple directions well yeah the tents like at academy awards and the emmys they basically put tents up uh, uh, for the people to go under because they have these buildings on both sides that prevents the rain from coming in sideways mm -hmm. that's not the way it is in cans folks the rain comes in off the ocean to the side and they can't cover the side because that's where the press and the people stand and if the press and the people can't see them coming it's sort of a waste for them to walk down the thing anyway. Mm -hmm. And UN watchdog EU's action to press Iran in nuclear dispute. Well, the, the, basically Iran isn't really doing any, you know, it's just the, it's George Bush and the Republicans uh, false of spreading of rumors that Iran has got a nuclear program. Mm -hmm. And Colombia warns of plot to kill high profile journalists. Yeah, if you don't support the government, that's what happens to them in dictatorships. And right here, right here, the president just audits. Well, actually, he, as they pointed out yesterday, they, they've been doing the thing now. The president didn't know anything about it, and it's due to incompetence. And a lot of people that have been hit by this president, they're they're saying now the press is finally agreeing what we've been telling you before. The president doesn't know anything, and he's very incompetent. They are not. They are not defending themselves about the president being incompetent. Totally no longer doing that because they have to spread uh, incompetence. Otherwise, the, you start talking about impeachment with him. And the Democrats are going to bounce this guy. It becomes more and more obvious. They found out this morning the leak that the president said, I didn't know any about this until the press got the leak, that, the same leak that we've been reading from the press. Well, it turns out that that's a treasure uh, that... Uh, IRS, the woman that's being put in charge of uh, Obamacare at the IRS, leaked the information herself. Yeah, she leaked it to the press. Then the press 
leaked it, but Obama knew it two weeks before the White House counsel, his own personal counsel, had been informed two weeks before the leak was made. So they leaked it themselves thinking, well, we'll be able to damage control it. And then it didn't work that way because everybody hates the IRS and there's no, no matter what happens, there's going to be massive changes in the IRS is not going to be in charge of health care. As this morning put them, they're basically after the Tea Party because the Tea Party people are telling everybody that you want to put your health records in the hand of the IRS and the Affordable Care They said, well, that's not going to happen and it can't happen. Well, yes, it can because they have access to all of your records. Yeah. And since we already know what they do to their enemies, they're going to release your, they, they flat out said, the president will not guarantee I said, I challenged the president, Malka said, I challenged the president today in his speech to personally guarantee that not a single health care record will be turned over to one of his friends. Mm -hmm. He won't make any comments about it, which means that's the same as saying they intend to turn over health care records. Mm -hmm. if, if somebody has basically got an illness like the, the senator from um, Missouri did, and he gets wiped off of it, or if your wife basically has a problem like Colin Powell did, they're going to re release it to the press that's to get strong. rid of them. Yeah. Because you can't trust the IRS that Obama has shown. The yeah. problem, though, is the fact that we don't have enough people. If we, have, if we need more money for the Internal Revenue Service, then that will stop the problems. They're going to hire more people and stop the problems. The bigger bureaucracy never stops problems. <laughs> and UN Watchdog EU's Ashton to press Iran in nuclear dispute. I know she likes that when she oh. read it twice. See, uh, I actually Colum remember these things. That's true, you do. And you even read the so text like, one. Oh, well, Columbia warns of plot to kill high profile journalists. Yeah, that's the second time on that one, too. Well, how in the world did we get up? Okay, Castro's new legal team says he'll plead not guilty. Well, yeah, you know, because I don't. My father would have said. My father, who was a police officer, would have gave great doubt to people being held in prison for 10 years and never making an attempt to escape. Well, they were terrified for their lives. So in other words, being terrified for your life, you get tortured for 10 years instead of just walking, instead of when somebody came like the one who finally did, they called for help through a screen door and a guy just busts the screen door in and takes the woman out. That's how simple it was, folks, and that nobody knew what was going on for 10 years. It, I find it highly suspect and he's, he's going to get off on the, okay, here the trick is: it's a kidnapping is a federal offense. They aren't charging him with a federal offense. What are they charging him? They're charging him with uh, with unlawful imprisonment and uh, the death of um, the death of some unborn children, which they actually won't be able to push, because unfortunately Ohio basically supports the president's views on abortion. So therefore, in, in the state of Ohio, it's not illegal to kill a baby before it's born. So therefore. The only thing they're going to hit him with probably is unlawful imprisonment. Oh, and Cleveland woman held captive will suffer long-term damage. That's part of the thing. That's basically ah. it's a, it's the psychological problem. Well, no, if they didn't try to get out, there is no damage that they can suffer because they made no effort for ten years to leave, none, and they were never more than two or three blocks from their homes, folks. That's it. Yeah. That's right. They were always near their homes. But they, they didn't know it. Well, yeah, they knew it. They, they knew it? They knew exactly. They, they, they knew where they were at. Oh, God. They made no attempt when basically the problem is one of them, okay, one of them had a trouble, uh, one of them was a, had a problem with the families and the other two people, other two basically wanted to get out. So therefore, they got out, but not exactly like they planned. Just don't, you know, um, the guy is uh, guy is a real scumbag, according to his own family. But the problem comes is, I, it's just like the Stockholm effect. Well, when you've been you've been taken prisoner, you then all of a sudden become a different person. No, try try. You know, most of the, my father basically knew lots of people from internment camps of World War II, yeah. both American soldiers, Italian Jews. Uh, they didn't become different people. Only after the psychologists started telling people in Korea did they start becoming different people. What? Well, in the Korean War, the American psychologists started telling everybody that if you're imprisoned, your whole life is destroyed. Well, it doesn't destroy the lives of the people that are in jail. They come out just exactly like they were before they went in. Mm -hmm. Very few, if you were a bad person going in, you're a bad person coming out. If you were a good person going in, you're a good person coming out. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that basically, uh, when you get caught, it's always best to say it was because of incompetence. Not. <laughs> <laughs>